Prayer of St. Teresa of Avila Lord, grant that I may always allow myself to be guided by you, always follow your plans, and perfectly accomplish your holy will. Grant that in all things, great and small, today and all the days of my life, I may do whatever you may require of me. Help me to respond to the slightest prompting of your grace, so that I may be your trustworthy instrument for your honor. May your will be done in time and eternity by me, in me, and through me. Amen. Prayer for Leading a Holy Life, St. Thomas Aquinas Grant, O most merciful God, that I may ardently desire, carefully examine, truly know, and perfectly fulfill those things that are pleasing to you, to the praise and glory of your holy name. Direct my course, O my God, that I may do what you require me to do. Show me the way, and grant that I may follow it, as is necessary and profitable to my soul. Grant to me, O Lord my God, that I may not be found wanting in prosperity, that I may not be lifted up by nor cast down by the other. May I find joy in nothing but what leads to you, sorrow in nothing but what leads away from you. May I seek to please no one, nor fear to displease any. May I fear only you. May I despise all transitory things, O Lord, and treasure all things that are eternal. Let me loathe all delights without you, nor desire anything apart from you. Let me find pleasure in all toil that is for you, in weariness and all rest where you are not. Grant to me, O my God, that I may turn my heart to you always, and grieve for my failings with a firm purpose of amendment. Make me, O Lord, obedient without opposition, poor without repining, chaste without blemish, patient without murmur, humble without pretense, merry without riotousness, serious without heaviness, cheerful without frivolity, God-fearing without abjectness, truthful without duplicity, doing good without presumption, correcting my neighbor without pride, edifying him by word and example without hypocrisy. Grant to me, O Lord God, a vigilant heart, that no subtle speculation may ever lead me from you, a nobleness that no unworthy affection may draw from you, a rectitude that no evil purpose may turn from you. Grant me a steadfastness which no tribulation may shatter, a freedom that no violent affection may overthrow. Give me, O Lord my God, a mind to know you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you. Give me a way of life pleasing to you, perseverance to trust and wait await you, and finally faith to embrace you. Grant that my punishment may be averted through penance here, your benefits used in this life through your grace, that your joys may be enjoyed in heaven in glory, who lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Mission of My Life God has created me to do him some divine service. He has committed some work to me, which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I may never know it in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for naught. I shall do good. I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in my own place while not intending it, if I do but keep his commandments. Therefore, I will trust him, whatever I am. I can never be thrown away. If I am in sickness, my sickness may serve him. In perplexity, my perplexity may serve him. If I am in sorrow, my sorrow may serve him. 
He does nothing in vain. He knows what he is about. He may take away my friends. He may throw me among strangers. He may make me feel desolate, make my spirits sink, hide my future from me. Still, he knows what he is about. A Godly Meditation, St. Thomas More. Give me your grace, good Lord, to set the world at naught, to set my mind fast upon you, and not to hang upon the blast of men's mouths, to be content to be solitary, not to long for worldly company, little and little, utterly, to cast off the world and rid my mind of all the business thereof, not to long to hear of any worldly things, but that the hearing of worldly fantasies may be to me displeasant. Gladly to be thinking of God, piteously to call for his help, to lean unto the comfort of God, busily to labor to love him, to know mine own villainy and wretchedness, to humble and meeken myself under the mighty hand of God, to bewail my sins past for the purging of them, patiently to suffer adversity, gladly to bear my purgatory here, to be joyful of tribulations, to walk the narrow way that leads to life, to bear the cross with Christ, to have the last thing, death, in remembrance, to have ever before my eyes my death that is ever at hand, to make death no stranger to me, to foresee and consider the everlasting fire of hell, to pray for pardon before the judge comes. I have continually in mind the passion that Christ suffered for me, for his benefits incessantly to give him thanks, to buy the time again that I before have lost, to obtain from vain confabulations, to eschew light foolish myrrh and gladness, recreations not necessary to cut off, of worldly substance, friends, liberty, life, and all, to see the loss is not for the winning of Christ to think my most enemies my best friends. For the brethren of Joseph could never have done him so much good with their love and favor as they did him with their malice and hatred. Litany of Humility O oh Jesus, make an humble of heart, hear me, hear me, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being stole, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. That, in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus grant me the desire that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Prayer to the Holy Spirit O Holy Spirit, Beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept 
all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Prayers of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Prayer of Daily Service. Make us worthy, Lord, to serve our fellow men throughout the world who live and die in poverty and hunger. Give them through our hands this day their daily bread, and by our understanding love, give peace and joy. God's Presence in My World, Jacob Ashley Help me today to realize that you will be speaking to me through the events of the day, through people, through things, and through creation. Give me ears, eyes, and heart to perceive you, however veiled your presence may be. Give me insight to see through the exterior of things to the interior truth. Give me your spirit of discernment, O Lord. You know how busy I must be this day. If I forget you, do not forget me. Prayers for the Church, Pope St. Leo the Great. Against error. O God, you who have established the foundations of your Church upon the holy mountains, Grant that she may not be moved by any wiles of error which would fain compass her overthrow, nor may she be shaken by any earthly disquietude, but ever stand firmly upon the ordinances of the apostles, and by their help be kept in safety against worldliness. Grant to us, O Lord, not to mind earthly things, but rather to love heavenly things, that while all things around us pass away, we even now may hold fast those things which abide forever. For truth, O Lord, give to your people, we pray you, the spirit of truth and of peace, that they may know you with all their minds, and that, following with all their hearts after those things which are pleasing to you, they ever may possess the gifts of your bountiful goodness. For divine assistance. Protect, O Lord, those who cry to you for help. Uphold us in our weakness, and cleanse us from our earthliness. And, while we walk in this dying life amidst the shadows of death, quicken us with your light. Vouchsafe in your mercy to deliver us from all evil, so that we may come to the perfection of all good at last. A prayer for right living by an unknown Confederate soldier. I asked for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness, that I might feel the need of God. I asked for all things, that I might enjoy life. I was given life, that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing that I had asked for, but everything that I had hoped for, almost despite myself. My unspoken prayers were answered. I am among all men, most richly blessed. Prayer of St. Teresa of Alabama. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things pass. God does not change. Patience achieves everything. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. No hands but yours. No feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which the compassion of Christ must look out on the world. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which he has to bless people. Prayer of St. Maximilian Maria Kolbe Learning Christ Teach me, my Lord, to be sweet and gentle in all the events of life, in disappointments, in the thoughtlessness of others, in the insecurity of those insincerity of those I trusted, in the unfaithfulness of those on whom I relied, let me put myself aside to think of the happiness of others, to put my little pains and heartaches so that I may 
be the only one to suffer them. Teach me to profit by the sufferings that come across my path. Let me so use it that it may make me mellow, not harden nor embitter me, that it may make me patient, not irritable, that it may make me broad in forgiveness, not narrow, haughty and overbearing. May no one be less good for having come within my influence, no one less pure, less noble, for having been a fellow traveler in our journey toward eternal life. As I go my rounds from one distraction to another, let me whisper from time to time a word of love to you. May our life be lived in the supernatural, full of power for good and strong in its purpose of sanctity. Amen. Prayer Before the Crucifix O Most High and Glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart. Give me, Lord, a firm faith, sure hope, perfect love, profound humility, the sign and knowledge that I may carry out all of your commandments. Prayer of William of Saint Theory Lord, I will seek your face and continually search for your face as much as I can and as much as you render me capable of doing. Lord, my God, my hope, hear my test. Hear me, lest exhausted I lose the will to seek you. May I ardently seek you always. Give the strength to seek you who have given the desire. And when the strength is sufficient, add to the desire that which you have given. May I always remember you, understand you, and love you until faithfully remembering you and prudently understanding you and truthfully loving you, O triune God, according to the fullness which you know, you reform me in your image in which you have created me. I am frightened, St. Anselm of Canterbury. I am frightened of living, Lord. My whole life seems sinful and sterile. Any fruits I bear are either false or rotten. Nothing I do seems pleasing to you. I am a broken tree that deserves to be chopped down, cut up and burnt. I hear only the sharp and bitter thorns of sin. If only those thorns could prick me into repentance. Inside me, my conscience burns. I dare not show myself. Yet I have nowhere to hide. What will happen to me? Who will protect me from your wrath? Where can I find safety? Lord, you are my judge, in whose hands I tremble. Yet you are also the one who can save me. Though I fear you, I trust you. Though I want to flee from you, I flee towards you. Jesus, Jesus, deal with me according to your love. Jesus, Jesus, forget the sin by which I have provoked you, and see only the misery which invokes you. Most kind Lord, confirm in me all that belongs to you, and cast away all that is alien to you. The ship of my life, St. Basil of Caesarea. Steer the ship of my life, Lord, to your quiet harbor, where I can be safe from the storms of sin and conflict. Show me the course I should take. Renew in me the gift of discernment, so that I can see the right direction in which I should go, and give me the strength and the courage to choose the right course, even when the sea is rough and the waves are high, knowing that through enduring hardship and danger in your name we shall find comfort and peace. God Speaking Through Events Jean-Pierre de Cassade You speak, Lord, to us in general through general events. Revolutions are simply the tides of your providence, which stir up storms and tempests in people's minds. You speak to us in particular through particular events, as they occur moment by moment. But instead of hearing your voice, instead of respecting events as signals of your loving guidance, people see nothing else but blind chance and human decision. They find objections to everything you say. They wish to add or to subtract from your word. They wish to change and reform it. Teach me, dear Lord, to read clearly this book of life. 
I wish to be like a simple child, accepting your word regardless of whether I understand your purposes. It is enough for me that you speak. To the Divine Tutor, St. Clement of Alexandria, be kind to your little children, Lord. Be a gentle teacher, patient with our weakness and stupidity, and give us the strength and discernment to do what you tell us, and so grow in your likeness. May we all live in the peace that comes from you. May we journey towards your city, sailing through the waters of sin untouched by the waves, borne serenely along by the Holy Spirit. Night and day may we give you praise and thanks, because you have shown us that all things belong to you, and all blessings are gifts from you. To you, the essence of wisdom, the foundation of truth, the glory are forevermore. Knowing, Desiring, Loving Saint Columbanus I beg you, most loving Savior, to reveal yourself to us, that knowing you we may desire you, that desiring you we may love you, that loving you we may ever hold you in our thoughts. Suffering as Discipline Henry Suzo Lord, I can see plainly that you are the only one and true source of wisdom, since you alone can restore faith and hope to a doubting and despairing soul. In your Son, Jesus, you have shown me that even the most terrible suffering can be beautiful, if it is in obedience to your will. And so the knowledge of your Son has enabled me to find joy in my own suffering. Lord, my dear friend, I kneel before you this day and praise you fervently for your present sufferings and give thanks for the measureless sufferings of the past. And I realize that all these sufferings are part of your paternal love in which you chastise and purify me. And through that discipline, I now look at you without shame and terror because I know that you are preparing me for your eternal kingdom. For all good things, St. Thomas Aquinas, loving God who sees in us nothing that you have not given yourself, make my body healthy and agile, my mind sharp and clear, my heart joyful and contented, my soul faithful and loving, and surround me with a company of men and angels who share my devotion to you. Above all, let me live in your presence, for with you all fear is banished. And there is only harmony and peace. Let every day combine the beauty of spring, the brightness of summer, the abundance of autumn, and the repose of winter. And at the end of my life on earth, grant that I may come to see and to know you in the fullness of your glory. Third Meditation Death One day my soul must depart from this body. When will it be? in winter or summer, in town or country, during the day or night, suddenly or with warning, due to illness or an accident. Shall I have a chance to confess my sins? Shall there be a priest to assist me? I know none of these things. One thing only is certain, that I will die, and sooner than I would like. Dear God, take me into your arms on that most important day. May all other days be sad, if only that day may be happy. I tremble with fear at the prospect, yet I know that you and you alone can save me. Set my whole heart on your promise of heaven. Guide my feet in your ways, O Lord, that I may walk the straight path towards eternal life. Let me cast off everything that holds me back on my journey here, so that all my strength may be directed toward that goal. Prayer of St. Francis of Assisi Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. 
to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. St. Francis Xavier Cabrini Fortify me with the grace of your Holy Spirit and give your peace to my soul that I may be free from all needless anxiety, solicitude, and worry. Help me to desire always that which is pleasing and acceptable to you so that your will may be my will. Grant that I may rid myself of all unholy desires and that, for your love, I may remain obscure and unknown in this world to be known only to you. Do not permit me to attribute to myself the good that you perform in me and through me, but rather, referring all honor to your majesty, may I glory only in my infirmities, so that renouncing sincerely all vain glory which comes from the world, I may aspire to that true and lasting glory which comes from you. Amen. Prayer of St. Ephraim the Syrian Blessed Virgin, immaculate and pure, you are the sinless mother of your Son, who is mighty Lord of the universe. Since you are holy and inviolate, the hope of the hopeless and sinful, I sing your praises. I praise you as full of every grace, for you bore the God-man. I venerate you. I invoke you and implore your aid. Holy and Immaculate Virgin, help me in every need that presses upon me and free me from all the temptations of the devil. Be my intercessor and advocate at the hour of death and judgment. Deliver me from the fire that is not extinguished and from the outer darkness. Make me worthy of the glory of your Son, O dearest and most kind Virgin Mother. You are my secure hope, for you are holy in the sight of God, to, to whom be honor and glory, majesty and power forever. Amen. On the value of prayer, His Holiness Pope John Paul II. Through prayer, especially to Jesus at communion, you will understand so many things about the world and its relationship to Him, and you will be in a position to read accurately what are referred to as the signs of the times. Above all, you will have something to offer those who come to you in need. Through prayer, you will possess Christ and be able to communicate Him to others. And this is the greatest contribution you can make in your lives, to communicate Christ to the world. Through prayer, you will receive the strength to resist the spirit of the world. You will receive the power to show compassion to every human being, just as Jesus did. Through prayer, you will have a part in salvation history as it unfolds in your generation. In prayer, you will be able to enter into the heart of Jesus and to understand his feelings toward his church. By using the Psalms, the prayer book that Jesus used, you will be able to repeat, under the action of the Holy Spirit, the praise and thanksgiving that have been offered to God for centuries by his people. In all circumstances of your lives, you will find that Jesus is with you. He is close to you in prayer. It is prayer that will bring joy into your lives and help you to overcome the obstacles of Christian living. When you go to Jesus in prayer and through him to the Father, you will always find inspiration in Mary, his mother. With every generation of his disciples, you will learn to pray with her and with her to await the action of the Holy Spirit in your lives.